So today on Camp Geeks, we're going to go over something that I haven't touched on for the last few years. 2020 was the last time I did one of these videos on Choco Sandals. I am a huge lover of Choco Sandals. I have been since I bought my first pair in 2003. That is this pair. They're still going strong. They are on their, you know, they've been resold before. And of course, when I was getting these resold, I bought a second pair. So then I kind of balanced between the two and that made these last longer. And I can then kind of focused because these are Terreno on the bottom on the sole. So a little more aggressive. Um, I got these with the standard uh, Colorado sole. Um, and between these two, I made them last longer because I'm balancing out. Then in 2020, I got these, which are my custom uh, Z2 uh, sandals. I like having the toe loop. Not everybody does. Um, you can actually wear these without putting your toe through the loop by just basically flattening this and then and putting your foot over them. Not, I'm not going to say it's super comfortable, but if, but if you need them just for a minute, you can do that. Um, and I also love the single strap. Nothing against the two strap ones, but I'm, I'm just a fan of the fatter strap. I think it's more comfortable and they're definitely easier to adjust. That said, <laughs> I love my Chacos. I basically wear them the entire summer. That's what I wear unless I'm doing something that I can't wear Chaco sandals or sandals, right? Um, even when I probably shouldn't be wearing sandals, I do because I love my Chaco sandals. Love them. That didn't stop me from going to the next level. So these, this pair, which I did with the Chaco grip sole, um, I don't know if it's because of that or because I literally wore the heck out of them but I started to wear through the backside into the footbed a little bit um, and checked with Chaco. Yes, I can still send them in. They should be able to resole them. So I stopped wearing them immediately. These are my most comfortable pair outside of my original, to be honest. These two are, are definitely more comfortable than the ones that I bought, you know, uh, 10, 12 years ago, whatever it was. Um, this is the traditional footbed versus the cloud footbed, but this is the original footbed and there are differences between the original ones and the newer ones. Um, that's what I personally found. Uh, I think the originals are a little bit more comfortable. I don't know if it's just the material, how they actually produced the rubber. Um, shape's basically the same almost, but they are slightly different. Uh, that said, I love my cloud. And so when I kind of went back, I was like, man, I was missing these. Should I send these in to get resold? Or should I order another pair of custom Chacos? This time a little bit different with custom strapping. Because the one thing that you do you can do when you actually order these custom Chacos is you can upload your own logo or your own image to print onto the strap. I wanted to try that. So while I probably still will be sending these in to get resold eventually, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to these. Let's get another pair. So now we're gonna head out, step over to the computer real quick. I'm gonna show you how I ordered these and what they, and then you'll see what they're supposed to look like with my fancy Camp Geeks logo on them. And then I'm gonna unbox them and show you. So to me at the computer. Okay, so here we are. We are on the Chaco's website and I have my mouse cursor here highlighted so it's easy for you to know where I'm going. So on the Chaco's website on the top, we can go to the customize area where you can choose the footwear that you would like to customize. In my case, I did the one strap toe loop, but if you don't like a toe loop, you can do just the one strap for both men and women or the two straps. The one straps are gonna be wider, so they're gonna be easier to customize if you wanna do what I did by using my own uh, logo. So one strap toe loop is what I did. I chose that. I went in here into the customizer. Now this will take a second to load. Um, depending on your internet connection, and it will take a minute every time you make a change for it to actually update the picture and everything, but it'll actually show you what you're doing as you go. So I did size 10 medium. I'll go to the main strap. I can choose predefined areas here, right? For the standard price, the $130 price, I can choose these, or for five addi additional dollars, I can upload my own image. And this is kind of cool. Now you can uh, edit or you can upload. I'm gonna hit upload. I'm gonna hit okay and I'm gonna choose a file. Now I made this spot file specifically for this. Um, and I'll show you uh, the file itself here in a minute after we're done here. Um, but if I hit upload, you can see that it's actually from corner to corner, including the cutoff areas, right? So the, the my logos fit exactly where I want them to go. The logos fit from edge to edge. You can see the 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 peaks or whatever. And to be honest, these also line up in the image well as well. So when it duplicates, when there's four and then the next four, it's not gonna show a difference between them. That's why I did it that way. So it was just a layered, it just keeps going. So if I hit apply, you'll see what I mean. 
because they'll put a strap here showing what it looks like after it's printed. So you can see there's actually what four different instances here, but it looks continuous. It looks great. That's what I was looking to go for. And you can shoot, you don't have to do that, right? That's just what I was looking for. And uh, this gray area in the background, I have a gray, but I actually set it to an opacity on the actual image itself. So it, it I think it printed a little bit different than what it looks like here, um, but it actually looks really good. So I hit finish here and then we'll give it a minute. Now, um, main strap and heel leash are the only two that you can add your own image to because they're the only two that actually have the main strap. So, the, you know, main, main strap material. So this strap here, as well as the strap on the back of the heel. I did the same logo for both. So essentially now that I, you can see how it's rendered, it looks really good in my opinion. I can go back to the heel leash. I can do the exact same item. So if I hit upload image, it'll allow me to either, you know, upload a different image for the rear, right? So if I hit upload, let it load, it takes a second, like, like I said before, for every step of the way. Um, so I'm gonna work my way through these real quick like, and uh, I'll do it off camera. Or I'll, I'll actually just speed it through as I go. Um, but I'm gonna work my way through, and then when I'm done, we'll continue on. Now, one other item here that you can choose is the classic footbed or the cloud footbed. Um, so that's one item I definitely want to point out. The cloud footbed does cost $10 more, but it, the footbed itself is softer, a little more plush. Um, so depending on what you're looking for, I find that the cloud footbed is definitely more comfortable. Um, it definitely gives a little more cushion to it. Whereas the classic, I think is a little more durable. Um, and I, maybe it gives a little bit more support in certain areas. Um, that's what I found personally. I really love the cloud footbed. Um, you can see in the classic footbed, we have black, gray, navy, olive night, and then white as an option. But if we go to cloud, it's gonna reduce that down to black and white essentially. Or I should say, um, it's, it's like dark gray, black, and white on white. Um, but yeah, cloud black versus black. Um, so, and then white, cloud white versus white on white. And so if you change, if you change this, I'll show you this real quick, what it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, you know, change the entire part of the sandal down here. Um, I don't know if, um, how well the white, uh, I guess, colors over time myself. I've never actually owned one of the white ones, um, but you can see it's, you still have the, the tread on the bottom, but the, the footbed itself is that white. So I did the black on black, um, but yeah, that's what that is. So this is where we come to, like uh, I've shown you in my video uh, to start, there are three different foot um, or uh, soles that you can put. So the bottom, right? The neat thing, the chocolate grip is the last one I did and I did this teal and I actually still really like the look. The look is, is awesome. Um, so you get a lot of options in these colors with the Chaco grip. The Colorado sole um, is a sole that I had on one of my sandals. It also, um, now the Colorado and the Terreno are actually Vibram soles, where the Chaco grip is a Chaco exclusive. Um, so if you're looking for something specific, um, it's, it really comes down to, I guess, what you're looking for and how much grip you want, life expectancy, well, from what I've seen, the Terreno and Colorado, I think have a little bit better life. Terreno is definitely not gonna have as long a life if you're gonna be on um, on a pavement a lot because it is a softer one, but it also does give it a little bit more cushion because it is a thicker um, footbed. And you can see when we go to the Colorado, we, we lose as many colors. And then when we go to the Terreno, um, oh, right now they actually don't have the 10 in the Torino. So you, if, if you want, you know, that, I guess that happens. I've never actually had that happen before, but the Torino is kind of their, the more off-roady, uh, boot-esque bottom, I guess, because it has a little bit more of a heel. You can see how the heel's thicker. Um, I like the Torino the most myself. Uh, has a more aggressive treads, so for hiking and stuff like that. Um, you can see there's only two colors available, but it also has, it has more grip. It's a softer material, so it will wear a little bit faster, which is also why it's thicker, right? Um, but at the same time, I find actually the cushion that you get because it's a softer rubber um, also increases the comfort. That's what I've found personally. I may be slightly, I guess, off in that, but that's how I feel. Um, and I've owned all of these different ones. So, so there is that. 
And then, of course, the last one is the logo, and you can choose whatever color you want on the logo. Now, this last section is embroidery and special instructions. Embroidery literally puts, um, so, uh, so if I put Camp Geek on there, right, and it's just going to keep erroring at me out because I, they don't have my, this sole right now, but that I picked, but it's just going to put it right on the back strap, which is going to actually cover my logo. And then you can change the color um, of the stitching. You can change the font. Um, so you can see left handle. It's not going to actually show it on there, I guess. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm, I like, I, you know, if I'm doing custom, um, especially a custom back here, I'm not going to put lettering over top of it. But you can do it. Uh, embroidery, as you can see, is actually more expensive than if you did the custom strap and had it printed. Now, the embroidery, I would think, would last longer, maybe. But um, that is something to say, right? If you're going to do the custom printed, um, it is actually less expensive than the embroidery. So you could actually make a logo with just your name on it and put it as the back strap. So there is that. So that's that. And then special instructions if you have anything to say. Then you can add it to cart. So as I have it built, as of right now, you can see it with how I have it. Um, this is how I built it. And this is a $145 sandal. Um, if you don't have any coupon codes, um, at the bottom of the, or the top of the description, I'll have a coupon code for you where you can get 20 bucks off. Um, but that's that. So that's how I built it. Let's take a peek at what it actually came out and looked like. All right. So before I open the box, let's just go through my current pairs. So I have my original 2003s. Um, the left one is actually aging the most. It's actually getting kind of dry rotted a little bit. If you can kind of see that where it's kind of cracking, um, not nothing uh, as I'm wearing them. I don't notice anything, but looking at them, I can see, you know, if I bend up the opposite direction, there's cracks in the footbed. They're just, they're coming at their end, but everything's wearing good. And, uh, the straps are still doing good. They're, they're worn because I mean, I wore the living heck out of these. I backpacked with these. Um, I don't know how many miles I have on these things, lots, and they've lasted a long time. Uh, Terreno footbed too, that lasts quite a while. Uh, second set of Terreno and, uh, yeah, still quite a bit of life actually in them. Then I have my, my second pair that I actually got when I was actually sending these guys in for, to, to get resold. This was like 12 years ago or whatever it was, 12, 14 years ago, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, these are the other Vibram sole they offered at the time. And these were just off the shelf at an REI because I was actually going to Disney World um, with my family, driving through, I think it was, uh, I think it was, it might have been in Texas or Florida, we stopped at an REI and these, I was like, I don't know if I really want to go any further because literally I was cut, I was going about to go into the footbed and I'm about to go to Disney World with a lot of walking. So I bought these um, on sale at REI for like 80 bucks or whatever that was at the time. And that's what these were bought for. And that's what they were used. And then when I got my other ones back, I actually found these more comfortable than these. So I tend to use these more frequently, but I do have these. Then in 2020, I did a video on my custom pair of Chacos, which was my first custom pair, my first pair with the new cloud bed, um, which I equate to slightly more comfortable than my original Chacos with the original footbed. And these two are both original footbed. They're just, one's the old original Colorado and one's the one I think that's actually manufactured in China. So that's the difference in those. Cloud footbed, definitely more comfortable than those. Um, just great. But with the Chaco, um, I, and I, I will say this, I wore these all the time. Every time, unless it was below 40 degrees outside, I was wearing my Chacos, really. Um, and you can tell right there, I'm, I'm wearing through them about, you know, I'm starting to go into the footbed. I got to do something. Otherwise, I won't be able to get them resold. So I stopped wearing them and started wearing my original ones again. And then, of course, I ordered these. And these turned out great. Now, I've actually been wearing these for the last week and a half or whatever I got them. But it's time to do the video and time to unbox it for you guys. All right. So I did go with the Trano and I went to the Trano because of the wear that I've had on my original Trano's, but also the cushion, that thicker piece of rubber, I think adds more cushion. But here we are. And this is what it turned out. Now that gray strap, it's kind of crazy. If you look at it in a specific light, it looks gray. Otherwise it looks like a a light dull green. It looks really cool. Now, I don't know if it's because of the color that I chose when I was when I created my my logo to upload or if it's because of the opacity I put it at, 
whatever it was, 50% or whatever it was. But it came out better than I anticipated. Um, I like this lighter green better than I would have liked the gray. So I'm 100% on board with it. Um, but I don't know what caused it. I just know that it looks awesome. Um, every other color I'm really happy with. I think I, I, I so I didn't choose the orange zinnia on the strap um, buckle. I chose the, the darker orange one. Um, whereas this is the orange zinnia here on my other orange ones, right? You can see it lighter. I kind of wish I would have done the darker logo um, to go, because these are both orange zinnia on the strap, the heel riser. So I would have, I wish I would have done the darker logo, but not a big deal. Um, I'm 100% on board with these. They are fantastic. It was supposed to be, everything was supposed to just kind of set aside and pop with each other. And I think they turned out awesome. And of course, um, these Terreno footbeds I, I love, or the soles, sorry. Now you can see they are soft rubber. So I've already scraped a little bit of that edge where I tend to, I guess, catch the, the ground, but it's more about how loose I keep my sandals. Um, I usually keep these really loose so they kind of flop around. So when I lift my foot, my actual heel comes off a little bit. If I was to strap it down, then I probably wouldn't be dragging that last little edge. Um, but, and that's pretty much what did these guys in um but yeah it is what it is it's just how i i guess i walk but with this softer sole i can tell you um with these versus the other custom chacos both same same modern uh cloud footbed these are more comfortable because this rubber is that much thicker and that much softer um, that I've, I notice it. So that's the one thing I'll say about the Trainos. I don't expect these to be maybe last as long. However, at the same time, they're substantially thicker. Now this isn't the, you know, the factory depth because I've worn the heck out of these, but these are thicker. So this is a thicker footbed. You can even tell in the images online, but how do they turn out? You be the judge, but I think they look awesome. So like I said, I wanted to show you real quick the logo that I have. So you can't tell, but this black background is actually uh, has an opacity to it, so it actually is like a 50% or whatever it is. Um, so it turns out gray. Um, this image itself, so if we go to actually adjust size, is 10 to 11 by 4501 for height 300 pixels per inch. So it's a pretty large image, right? Um, but that's how big this image is with all the way around it, right? So you can see there's the exact size that I'm using. So if you want to copy that. Also, I'm going to bring this over. This is just the, the usable part that I planned on for the strap. And so on this one, I just basically kept expanding it um, to the fillet. Whereas this guy here, um, size, 2452 by 500. So you can figure that out. Um, this is only 72. This is not the image that I used, but this is the you know, basically duplicates, right? So you can kind of see the size that I'm using um, within this, but this is a lower resolution. So that's why using that higher resolution one gives a really good crisp clean, um, I guess, run on the actual, uh, on the print. I wanted to get a little bit closer in on the actual print quality itself so you can see. So this one is actually perfect, like right down the center for the actual print itself. This one's a little off, so you can see it's a little higher up. So, but that's why you have that that cutoff area, um, so it gives them, um, you know, time, uh, availability to move it up and down. But I think it still looks fantastic. But that's what the that's what it looks like after after the printing. And then same with the heel leashes. I think they just turned out great. Now, now here's the interesting thing. This is the one strap with toe loop. You can do the exact same thing with one strap without toe loop. But if you do actually do the two strap version, again, I'm not a big fan of the two strap version, but I know other people that love them. Um, the two strap version, you can actually put logos on both of the straps. And so of course they'd be smaller um, because they're not gonna line up with, you know, and they're not gonna be nearly as wide as this one. So, you know, it's text or, or whatever you put on them is gonna be smaller, but you can do it on those smaller straps too. And each strap can be something different. So if you have time, check out chakras.com. I'll put a link at the top of the description. I'll also put a coupon code that you can use if you want to get an extra little discount. Um, 
But yeah, check it out. You can just mess around with it. I literally messed around with the logo stuff for a little while, was horsing around with, with the sizing of the logos, um, horsing around with what it looked like with different colors. I, mean, I was just kind of playing around with it. And of course, when these finally got to the point where I needed to get them resold, I actually almost, I added it to my cart, was about to check out. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try building another pair of Chacos and why not? I have literally worn these so many times that they've well exceeded their value to me. So trying out something that has my custom Camp Geeks logo on it got me excited and I'm glad I did because when they showed up, I fell in love immediately. Um, the combination of the cloud footbed with the Terreno sole, I think is fantastic. Um, but yes, so that is my next uh, chapter in my Choco footwear. By all means, let me know what you think. If you get to, get to do these as well, you know, post about them. Um, and I think the custom Choco is, is fantastic. Both of mine have turned out great, and uh, but the logo ones are great. Now, the one thing I didn't point out really is the strap itself, the back side of the strap is actually black. Um, so unlike these, these four straps, these are, uh, you know, if it's an orange strap, it's orange all the way around. Um, these tend to get pretty dirty. Um, so the lighter colors, specifically like orange, you'll see the, the grime kind of build up underneath. And then I'll take them into the shower with me and I'll scrub them with soap and water and get them all nice and cleaned. Um, that's what I do with my current ones. It, it does fade out a little bit. I'm interested to see how these fade as much. Um, because they're going to, it's just the nature of, of the straps and sun and abuse and cleaning and all sorts of stuff. But so far I'm, I'm loving them. So thank you for watching to the end of this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, and let me know, uh, if you, like I said, if, if you do one of these, let us know in the comments below how it turns out. Otherwise campgeeks.com and we'll catch you back here on a future video review or setup or install or whatever. So thanks for watching to the end. See you soon.